thanks Rick and Rick just mentioned that snow and that snow made a lot of the roads we drive on pretty slick and icy. Law enforcement says they've responded to dozens of crashes and cars sliding off the road overnight and earlier today and it looks like more icy roads are on the way. Our Tristan Lewis joins us live now with a look at the road conditions right now and some safety driving tips. Tristan. Hey there, Shira. Roads right now don't seem to be too slick right now, but the Ada County Highway District actually woke up at early as early as 1.30 this morning to help treat the roads before the early morning rush. But even as crews plan to treat the roads and keep them safe, people still need to take into account all the driving tips and safety tips this winter season. Snowfall overnight and into the morning has left quite the impact within the Treasure Valley. Uh, what we saw today was the snow fell on uh, warm roads, so then the snow melted into a water and then the temperature dropped very quickly, creating that icy situation. While all 63 of ACHD's units were out treating the road Friday, there was still some trouble during the morning commute. Ada County Sheriff's Office reporting at least 29 car crashes Friday morning alone. Transportation agencies are reminding people the differences between driving in the winter versus the summer. There are two different elements that we always like to focus on. First is your preparation and then second is your behavior behind the wheel. ITD recommends people should have winter proof wiper fluid and a small shovel and kitty litter in case someone were to slide into a ditch. If you're going to be going up into the mountains, let people know uh, that you're where you're going to be going and you know, prepare for maybe some more treacherous conditions. Roads that were once unmaintained gravel roads in the summer may be covered in snow in the winter. The biggest tip I can say is just plan for the conditions. Watch the weather, know what's coming, and then plan your day appropriately. Agencies advise people to take their time on the roads and slow down. That alone is going to solve 80% of the challenges you may find. People should give themselves more time to get to their destination and more space between cars they're behind. So that if they stop quickly, you have time to respond and stop as well. Same goes for snow plows and trucks. The safest place to be is right behind the plow, a good 100 feet, 150 feet behind it. Uh, stay back a, a certain distance so that if they're putting the materials down on the, on the road, that you're not getting splashed by them or getting some of those materials on your car. And the Ada County Highway District tells me they did not have to do any plowing today, but 44 of their units are equipped with plows if they need to do so. And they also tell me there may be job postings listed for snow plowers, but they are still fully staffed to be able to take on this winter. Shira. A lot of good advice there. Thanks, Tristan.